Good afternoon, Toastmasters and guests. Two and a half months ago, a Chow Chow mixed with thinking German Shepherd male dog came into our lives. We adopted him from the shelter on Bradshaw, and I couldn't be happier. We named him Louie, and he's golden and brown and orange and so fluffy, soft, his hair just blows in the wind and he's all shiny. He has to get brushed about once a week and frequent baths though because of all the hair. Um, he weighs in at about 55 pounds. His height is about here. And if he stretches long, he's about as long as me. If you mixed a huntress wolf, the king of the jungle lion, and a cute cuddly bear, you would get Louie. And I, if you scroll, I created an album of pictures, so you can just scroll. It's all on just one album, so go ahead and take a look about Louie, so you can get a vision of who I am talking about. He has one ear that flops forward, one ear that flops back. His, his eyes are golden and orange. He, I'm sorry. He smiles from ear to ear, whether he is panting or just happy to see you. He loves to play. He loves to play fetch, tug of war, play with your feet, your hands, anything in front of him. And that's because he's about one to two years. And we don't know the age because the shelter was a little unsure. Louis is teaching us to be very, very patient. He's teaching us to be good consistent, stern, and commanding masters. This becomes a little problematic though because Louis loves to be in charge. He loves to show you he's boss, what he wants when he wants it. But when we have guests, small children approach him or an elderly couple walking down the street, he becomes this charmer. He's sweet and gentle and just will sit there for them, let them pin. But around Sean and I, he's aggressive and wants to play and hyper. Life with Louis is amazing though. In the morning, I'll take him on a walk before I go to work. Usually, I'll talk soft. Come on, Louis, because it's about 4.35 in the morning. Don't want to be too loud. Come on, Louis, come on, let's go potty. He's wagging his tail and then gets sidetracked. What's that on the carpet? What is that? Takes it and runs with it. So my soft voice becomes, no, no, Louis, no. Bad dog. As I approach his collar and leash hanging on the wall, he gets excited. We'll sit. Like I said, he's a charmer. He knows how to work a crowd. We'll sit there, smiling at you, gives you licks as you put on his collar and leash, and he's proud. He's happy to go on a walk. But before he goes on a walk, he'll, he has to wait at the door. He has to wait for the command, free Louie. With this command, we're hoping he won't bolt out of the door whenever it's open. So I have him wait and wait to have him tail wagon. He's looking at me and I say, free Louie. That's when he can finally leave the house. On our walks, we usually hear frogs chirping or riveting, um, coyotes howling because we live in a rural area, but you can always count on a Heal, Lou. Heal. Louie, heal. Heal, Louie. Good heal. We'll walk a little more. He has to sit before we cross the street. So sit, Louie. Sit. Looks at me. Nope. Not going to happen this morning. Sit, Louie. Sit. Usually a little firm press on his butt and he'll go down. Um, sometimes as I walk in from the walk, he's even more hyper. You would think a walk would tire your dog out. But sometimes it gets him more hyper. And like I said, he'll bite at your feet. I think the biting at the feet I thought was cute. Oh, it's an animal instinct. He's trying to hurt me. No, nope. he's letting me know he wants to play. And then he gets hungry. He barks. He has different kinds of barks. He barks when he wants to go potty. When he's hungry, when he wants to play. It's either howling. He even has a whiny one. So Louis has a... A vocal variety, you could say, a dog of all voices. During, uh, let's see, with his barks, I am blessed with the best puppy kisses. 
See, he's very oral. Everything is either through his mouth, through his barks, through his nibbling on his feet. And with those puppy kisses, he'll give you soft, gentle, with his eyes just staring at you. He'll lick your hand. That's when I think he's saying, thank you, mama, thank you. He'll just lick it. Or if he's so excited he can't take it, he'll slobber all over your face. And that's his I love you kisses. After work, when I come home, that's his playtime. Even though I don't always want to play, get his energy out. We play with his favorite toys. He has a favorite Mr. Penguin toy or his green stick that you saw. We're trying to teach him to catch stuff in the air because he likes to jump for things, but he hasn't quite gotten the jump at the time of the toy. So I'll update you on that. And with this playful time, that's when we get to use our puppy voices. Like in the name Louie, we get a little playful in what we call him. Lou, Lulu Bear, Lubert, Lu Lucius, and of course, Luis on the Cinco de Mayo, or Louis is his, you're in trouble, Louis. He has doggy treats as well. We call them cookies. So come on, Louie, want a cookie? Want a cookie, Louie? They're organic peanut butter and berry mixed with nuts cookies that I bought, and he knows where they live in the house. He knows where the cookie jar is. And don't even underestimate him if you think he doesn't try and sneak up on the counter and put his nose in the cookie jar. And he'll look at you. <laughs> Louie, get down. Down. Bad dog. Doesn't phase him at all. We also add a pea gravel and turf to our backyard. And he loves, he loves the side yard, his bowl area. It's his domain. He's the key in the job. His area. Loves to play in it, loves to run through the doggy door from it, but he hasn't figured out how to go from the garage to the pea gravel. I think that's his King Louie mentality, and we're just his servants. So I'm glad you've gotten to meet my new puppy, Louie, and I hope I can update you soon. Thank you.